good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And it gives me such great, immense pleasure to have you all here, the members of the Franchise Industry of India and from overseas, to be present at the World Franchise Congress. Um, you know, this initiative is really all about bringing the franchise industry together and seeing big growth happen amongst all of us, through all of us. So welcome, a very warm welcome to you uh, over here at the World Franchise Congress. You know, standing here today is a moment of uh, great pride and also a very nostalgic moment for me. Um, nostalgic because, uh, you know, this is the first ever Franchise Congress, World Franchise Congress that we are doing. It was about 12 years back when I attended the first franchise show in India, which was of course done by Franchise India, as a guest. I was uh, about to get married to Gaurav, I was engaged to him and I was supposed to marry him after a month and I came and attended that show at that point of time. And uh, you know, so, and I think once I got married to him, I pretty much did each and every led, each and every show that Franchise India has ever done in this country and some overseas as well. Um, so in this sense, I get, gives me great pride because when me and my team were putting together this show, and inviting God of as a guest to come and speak at this show. It's, it's like a full circle, you know? So I came to do a first show in which I invited God of to come and speak. So the so World Franchise Congress will always be and is a very, very special platform for personally for me as it is for the whole franchise industry. Um, you know, so what, what franchising means to me, as an editor, I have written about franchising. I have closely observed franchising. Um, I've felt it because I've met with people, I've met with franchisors, met with franchisees. And I can tell you one thing, that there have been lots of changes that have happened in franchising. Industries have changed. Some industries were very special at some point of time. Some other industries became special at other points of time. There were a lot of people I saw who were there when I started franchising. Some continue to be, some have changed, moved on. Some new ones have joined in. Um, there have been support organizations which have kept changing, which have kept growing. But one thing I found continued to remain the same, irrespective. And that was largely that it was the hunger of people to look for an opportunity. It was the hunger of people to start a business, be their own boss, which continues to remain same regardless of how franchising has grown or come to grow in this country. So which I think is the standing point and the starting point of franchising. For some of uh, you who were probably present there when we did uh, the, the grand franchise mega fair in Pragati Medan last month, there were about more than 35,000 people who visited from all over India to start a business, about 500 odd franchises who were directly you know, exhibiting, wanting to meet up with franchisees. So I think there is no contention today that franchising as a business model is nascent in India. It's certainly growing and becoming very, very large. It's what we need to correct is how we're going to make it bigger than it ever was. You know, so for me as an editor, entrepreneurship and franchising is really about all that I do, all that I write about, and all that I stand for. Um, more recently, some of you may know it and some of you may not know it, that we have also got the world's largest magazine on entrepreneurship, the Entrepreneur Media, here in India. Um, and I just want to show you a little clip as to what Entrepreneur Media really stands for. For me, it stands for empowering both franchising and entrepreneurship in India. If I can have the small AV, please.
Um, so as an entrepreneur comes to India, I see franchising growing even further and entrepreneurship empower, getting more empowered in this country. Um, you know, so I'll take just a couple of minutes to, because I certainly believe that, you know, if you have to look into the growth or the future of any industry, it's very important to understand the, the history of that industry. So I'll just take a minute or maybe two to just explain you what the history of franchising in India has been. Um, you know, as an editor, I have always been moved by numbers. Um, uh, so, you know, I remember always reading these numbers about India, which are about the U.S., I'm sorry, which said that it's a trillion-dollar industry in the U.S. Every eighth minute, a new franchise used to open in the U.S., and this is back in 2007 or 2008 that I'm talking about. And what, you, what I used to think was that how in India are we going to ever being able to achieve the trillion-dollar industry in franchising? Um, at, at Franchise India, we're almost a million-member family. There are franchisees and franchisors who want meet with each other, network with each other. But I couldn't see the bigger picture of how franchising was going to grow. But then I remember um, uh, in 2004, we did uh, in the magazine a cover story with Mr. Mukesh Ambani. It was about his grand plan of launching Reliance petrol stations in India. Um, at that point of time, it was about a 40,000 crore project that they had talked about and all to be empowered through franchising. Well, sometimes luck doesn't have it and the political reasons were not correct for opening gas stations at that point of time. So while the project did not happen, what I could not understand for many years was that Reliance came into so many retail uh, brands and so many retail projects, but they did not really use franchising as a mode of growth only till about two years back when a lot of the retail formats came into franchising. A similar story was what I saw with Future Group as well. Um, you know, Mr. Biani started, uh, and some of you may know, and, uh, but a lot would not know that actually Pantaloons was a franchise concept way back in the 90s. And uh, the Future Group came much later, and Mr. Biani did not franchise any of those concepts till about a uh, year and a half back when I met with Vivek Biani and he told me about their big format they, they have launched for franchising in this country. Um, you know, so I felt that maybe corporates were probably the way to go. When corporates would come into franchising, it would be the way to go for franchising. But it's only now that I think corporates in India have started realizing and uh, using the effective strategy of franchising in their businesses. I mean, after all, you know, I have written about more than 100 brands who have come to India, and some of them have pretty much fizzled away. They came through master franchise route, obviously our FDI regulations being so tight in this country, and yet I don't see them anywhere in this country at all because uh, they've pretty much gone all out. And I think largely because they did not use the franchise strategy. I mean, I think the great old example, and I'm, I'm a big fan of this brand, which is McDonald's, but honestly, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I don't think McDonald's came here with a grand vision of just putting 300 stores in 16 years when they have about 40,000 stores across the world. I'm sure they would have had a bigger vision than this. On the contrary, I've seen that, uh, you know, and, and this, is, this is really great. Most of them would actually come in and I would ask them, why don't you franchise? I mean, McDonald's worldwide, it's just franchising. And they say, no, the country is not ready. You know, I just don't buy that. Let me look at, we have such great examples of telecom industry in this country. We have an example of e-commerce industry, which is more recent. Five years, completely consumer behavior has changed. Everybody is buying into their products. How is that? Franchising could have achieved the same, but I noticed that a lot of sectors in retail could not grow because they did not deploy franchising. And the, the most successful examples are really in front of you. Look at Madura garments, look at Urban brands, look at Yum brands, look at DLF brands more recently. They're all using franchising to grow, and that, that it is their spread that we are really seeing in this country which is happening successfully. So I think um, India uh, as a country and probably US as a continent are very, very large, and they need uh, you know, relationships, they need business partnerships to happen for, or probably franchising to happen for their businesses to grow. So as far as I see it, I don't think franchising is really as they call an OPM concept when you think at the larger level. Uh, it is more about the operational bandwidth that franchising brings, which is most important and this is what we're really going to talk about today. We're gonna, franchising is not just a small business. On the top, it is a very, very large business run by organizations, and it is here that we come to see how these businesses are run. Um, you know, I would, uh, so one thing, uh, one more thing I would like to add is that 
and this is particularly true for emerging franchisors in this country, you know, we cannot look inward when we are franchising. We cannot be concerned about how much extra margin our franchisee is going to make or how much, uh, you know, profitability he is going to enjoy. We need to look outward. You know, if American franchising is one of the greatest examples we've seen in the world, it is because success stories of million franchisees that have millionaire franchisees that have happened in that continent. And we need to repeat that success in India to really help franchising to grow. So ladies and gentlemen, this forum is really about looking at that bigger picture of franchising which today exists. And we need to find it uh, right amongst all of us to take that franchising and make it big. I'm very uh, grateful that PepsiCo has joined us as a founding partner for the World Franchise Congress. Particularly like to thank Mr. Shiva Kumar uh, who envisioned this program and uh, today it has become a reality. Thank you very much, sir. Um, Mr. Andy Williams, who's come all the way from UK to give us more global insights on franchising. And a big thanks also to Mr. Samudra Bhattacharya, who is the Vice President of Franchising for PepsiCo. Um, you know, he was the guiding light in helping us put this all together. And today we are all here because PepsiCo and Franchise India together envisioned and made this platform happen. Ladies and gentlemen, this, uh, this program is all about franchise community coming together and finding what or how they can make their franchise concepts global concepts. So I welcome you for a great day of learning and networking from the leaders with each other and making big franchising happen. Welcome once again.